Yeah, oh, Seabass! Seabass, let's go! Wait, Ashley? I think I just got recognized. What the heck? Seabass, I fucking love you. I love you, bro. I love you. I, I literally I kind of died for you the whole I appreciate it, dude. I appreciate it. Hello, hello? <laughs> it's only one! Jesus! It's the real Seabass! No way! No way this is actually happening. No way. Dude, this is actually awesome. What the fuck? I just lightened up my mood so much. Hey, OJ, if you're watching this, and Abraham Lincoln, you guys are goaded. Keep it up. Keep playing. I fucking love you, bro. He fucking is the goat. GG's boys. Yo, what's up YouTube? I hope all of you are having a great day so far. In today's upload, we are going to be going over the LC-10. So the LC-10 just got a pretty significant nerf. It's still a pretty good weapon as you guys will see from the gameplay, but at range, you can't really use it like an AR anymore. So now it's more of like a balanced weapon. So with that said, I built a pretty good class set of four that makes it kind of feel like how it felt before the nerf. With that said, if we can get 110, actually, let's get 120 likes on this video. That would be awesome. I'd really, really appreciate it. And if you are new to the channel and you want to get better at Call of Duty, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. But without further do let's get right into the class setup so here is an overview of my favorite lc10 class setup at the moment so as you guys can see this is a perk read setup which is the setup that i recommend you guys to run it in but if you want to run in gunfighter which i don't recommend i'll give you guys a gunfighter class setup but so anyways let's get right into the first attachment so for the muzzle you want to do the socom eliminator just to help you control that recoil because with the nerf it took down lots of the effective damage range and so we're gonna have to use the task force barrel which has a decent amount of recoil and so the socom eliminator is gonna help you control it we are losing some horizontal recoil control but that's okay because we're gonna have to want a grip that's actually gonna compensate for that for the barrel as i said before you want to do the task force barrel this is just going to increase that damage you're going to get increased your effective damage range and your bullet velocity previously with this gun i wouldn't really use a barrel or if i wanted to i would use a reinforced heavy because the damage range was already super good on this gun and so you didn't really need a barrel but now that the effective damage range got decreased you are going to want to make sure you are using the task force barrel for the under barrel to help control the recoil you want to do the s fod speed grip this is going to bring up the sprinting movement speed by 10 percent so you're going to be super quick on the field you're going to be like usain bolt and on top of that we have 15 percent horizontal recoil control so you don't have your your automatic tactical sprint on i would do the field legion grip instead because for me i have my automatic sprint on i'm always doing slide cancels and so it works out really good for me to use the speed grip but if you don't have that on i would do the field agent grip and say you are using the field agent grip because you're getting six percent vertical recoil control with it you could actually swap out the muzzle for the agency suppressor just so you can stay off the radar if you want for the next attachment on the magazine you want to do the vandal speed loader this is just going to allow you to reload really quick and you can hold extra ammo say you want to hold more ammo i would try out the 42 round speed mags or the salvo mags or the static 55 round just choose the one that works out best for you and finally for the handle you want to do the serpent wrap just to increase that ads speed by 25 percent because this magazine is not taking down too much ads speed we can do the serpent instead of the airborne and just in case you guys want to take a screenshot of the class and so that is going to wrap it up for the five attachment setup if you want to run it with the gunfighter wild card or the optic i would use the microflex led or just use the iron sights i actually prefer the iron sights for the muzzle you could swap that out for the agency suppressor or you can do the socom eliminator if you want less recoil for the barrel i'll keep that the same for the body you want to do the stadium laser just to bring up the hit fire accuracy and then for the under barrel, you want to keep that the same or swap it for the field agent grip if you want a little bit more recoil control. For the magazine, you want to do the Vandal speed loader, or if you do the 42 round speed mag or the salvo mags, I would swap out the handle for the airborne elastic wrap. But if you're using the Vandal speed loader, I would keep the serpent wrap on there. And finally, for the stock, you want to do the no stock just to bring up that spin to fire speed. We are losing a little bit of our hit fire accuracy with the stock, but that's why for the body, we are adding the stadium laser. And just in case you guys want to take a screenshot of the gunfighter class. And so I think that is going to wrap it up for the class setup. If you guys like the class setup, let me do it down in the comments i love hearing you guys pop off but so anyways let's get right into the gameplay hey boys we got the lc10 over here let's take a look at it in the light oh my gosh this gun looks too good guys it's one of the better looking guns i wish it covered like the iron sights and the attachments on it but you know it covers most of it so i'm happy with it so the lc10 just got a pretty big nerf but it was only a nerf to its effective damage range and so if you had the task force barrel it kind of makes it like how it was before but you know you can't really challenge people at long range anymore so in hardcore it actually got completely obliterated though because it's usually like a one shot kill at pretty much any range in hardcore but now it's a two shot kill and so it's not too viable in hardcore anymore but still viable but not compared to how it was before oh my gosh i don't know how i just didn't die so now that i'm running the task force barrel on this it's a little bit harder to control the recoil you still can control the recoil pretty easily it's just it's not gonna be as easy did they just kept spawning in over here what the heck that's weird Let's see if we can go off though so i had a 68 and 3 gameplay with the nuke and everything and then you know i went to go push stop recording and the button said start recording not stop we got the war machine boys let's call in the cav want to get maybe like 20 kills with the gun and then get the rest with maybe the war machine that was scary oh my god let's get this guy oh yeah also if you haven't noticed we are reverse boosting because fucks could be smashmaking. 
Oh, I fucked. No, what the fuck, dude? Because fuck Scooby Smash Bacon. I was trying to say that. I say that in every video, and I was trying to say right there, but it got me killed. Teammate, kill him. You just take all my kills, and then you can't take that one? Okay, we got the harp. It looks like they're to my left. Oh, and they're on my right. Where do these spawns, dude? We got a dude down here. Oh, shit. I thought he was above me. <gasps> Thank God he's a bot. Get this guy. AFK. I don't know why the bots are always AFK. I think the war machine got a nerf too. Because there's times where I'll use it and like I'll get hit markers. When before I usually want to get hit markers there. Oh shit, spawn protection. Oh, this shit's so scary. Oh, Dude, I was fucking looking up at the minimap and trying to read something. And then all of a sudden there's like four dudes right there. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Okay, these enemies are playing a little bit safe for some reason. I don't know why they're playing so safe. Maybe it's because I'm kind of stomping them. Hello. What's up, dude? Oh, dang it, dude. I could have secured another kill. So far, 20 and 1. Not too bad. I will take it. Let's see what this play of the game is. So we come over here. Oh, I think this is when they're all spawning over here. This was a little bit scary because I thought I was going to die a long time ago. So the one couldn't control the recoil there, but it's okay because we secure this kill. And then we secured the one before. And then we killed the guy who's AFK. Not too crazy. Wish I got something a little bit crazier. My nose is so fucking itchy today. I don't know why. Actually, it's always itchy. I literally don't know why, but my nose is so itchy all the time. My last match I played, I actually got recognized. It was crazy. You guys probably saw the clips at the beginning of the video, but that was insane. Let's see if they're over here. But so being recognized just literally made my whole day. Literally so wholesome. Oh my gosh, I almost died. Why are you not moving, dude? What the heck? Are you just letting me come to you? I don't know where these guys are spawning, so I kind of just want to rotate this area. We got a harp. Oh, easy, boys. We got an AFK here, but let's kill this guy. Oh, they're all spawning to my right. This is good and bad. There's too many people shooting me. I'm kind of dead. Dang it, dude. I wish I could still use this thing at range. Look at these noobs. Oh my gosh, boys. Oh shit. Dude, see, I'm not used to this time to kill him. Used to be in like five shots, not six shots. You know, let's call it in this war machine just to secure this. Okay, so we're on a 28, 29. We should be able to get it now. There we go, boys. We got the nuke. Easy dubs. LC10 slash war machine nuke. I will take it. Now let's see if we can get some unstoppable medals. Oh, they got fucking spawn protection again. That shit's so annoying. There's so many of them. There we go. Thank God he had a fucking bear, dude. Oh, fuck me. No, 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 no. I, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. 30 plus. It's too easy, boys. Fucking LC10. Nicest gun in the game. Can't really use that range, so now it's like a balance gun. I think KSP is still a better gun, but you know, the LC10 does compete with it. Now I can maybe even go for a double nuke. I don't really know the streak I'm on. No, dude, I died by the Barrett user. No way. Oh, he knew I was there. He was hunting me down, dude. Okay, we're 58 and 2. Not too bad. I wanted to upload the gameplay that I got against the OJ and the Abraham Lincoln guy. They recognized me, but my KD wasn't the best. And I kept dying from like stupid shit. And so that's why I'm not using it. I was really hoping I could. But you know, they were, they were just too good for me. This is not fair at all. This is not fair at all. So I'm thinking my next video might be on the Grozer, or the FFAR, or the Krig. Because I know all those got buffs. And so I kind of want to use them again. Kind of want to maybe do AK-74U so I can give you guys like a good class up since it just got nerfed. No way, the bear guy killed me again. I think there's an enemy by. There we go. So I was going to do a Milano video, but I guess it didn't really... Oh my gosh. Fuck, dude. But so the Milano didn't really get a buff. Like it looks like it got a big buff, but if you go through and actually test the weapon, it got like a slight little buff. It still takes the same amount of shots. Oh my God, fucking A, dude. It still takes the same amount of shots to kill and everything. And so that's why it's not the best. I think it's just its range got increased by a little bit and it has a little bit more mobility. But overall, it's not that good. 66 and four, you know, I will take it with a nuke. No way we didn't get play of the game. I guess I wasn't going off enough, dude. I thought I was doing good, but I guess not. So I guess that is going to wrap it up. And so I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. Hopefully you guys like the class setup. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and I'll hopefully see you in my next video.